Minecrafting Season 2! We are finally here, you guys! We are finally in the new world! It has been so difficult to get everything moved over and we're still in the process of moving, so if you see anything missing or any of our old friends missing, don't worry, they will be back. There is just a lot to do to move two years worth of amazing zoo-based adventures into a new world. But we are here! We are here in true Zoodesia, the newest of the worlds that we have visited and we are putting down our roots hopefully for several years. For those of you guys who don't know, I am Zookeeper Siri! I am a zookeeper who has the job, the task, the wonderful duty of trying to go throughout the entire world and gather up all the mobs we can and all of the animals we can to give them exhibits, exhibits in a proper zoo. And our goal this time is to actually build that proper zoo. We have spent the last two years in two different worlds learning how to play Minecraft, learning how to be a proper zookeeper. And now we are finally here in a brand new world the biggest of them all, with more mods, more things added to this than I can even shake a stick at. And I am so happy, so happy to have you guys here with me. And I know you're excited! We have thousands and thousands of amazing, curious community members, and I cannot wait to show off the new house to you guys. That's where we are! We're standing on one of the balconies of the new house, and down there is going to be where we are going to build an amazing zoo here in Minecraft that is going to involve so many exhibits, so many unique animals. We're going to build them as factually based as possible so that there's plenty to learn about, and we are also going to make sure that we have lots of friends come, lots of collaborations with other people, YouTubers, our wonderful friends, the other zoo zoo crafters who share the server with us will be coming over to help us build and oh man, the adventures we're going to have you guys. The zoo is going to be amazing. Uh, but before we talk a little bit more about that, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the new house and it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, not everything is here yet, and most of the world is still wilderness. We're starting with a fresh slate, more or less. We have a whole bunch of our supplies, our animals are safely tucked away in their safari nets in the cryogenics lab, but otherwise, we really have a fresh slate. Look, beautiful, empty inventory, it's been so long. And we do have our backpacks, I need to rename them. And we do have our tools as well. So we have the Sword of Light, we have Bat Pig, Mole Fingers, Moss Slugger. We've got all of our just, there's Glorious Grafter and some of our other tools. But for the most part, I left a lot of the old stuff in the old world. I'm still moving some boxes over. It takes a long time. You know, you think four days is enough to move two years worth of stuff. No. No, it's not, my friends, but we'll go over those details in just a second. This is a lovely little bridge that leads into the Staff Lounge! Look at the size of it! The tree has immensely grown. In fact, we can get a good view at it over here behind the feline security desk. Here is Captain Kaz. How are you doing today, Captain Kaz? Meow. Doing pretty good? Oh, who's a good kitty? Who's a good kitty? Little scritch behind the ears. Little scritch behind the ears. Captain Kaz, Major Calhoun, all of the other animals have been settling in quite well. Don't worry, all of the cats are here. The dogs are outside in the upstairs yard, so we'll go up there in just a second to see them. As you guys can see, our fish tank is here. It's been moved, and it's really amazing. Full of kelp and coral and beautiful fish. Look at all those little guys. Hi. Hi, little guys. Hi, how you doing? How you doing? We still have to move over our Nautilus, so we're going to be adding them in soon. Like I said, it's a work in progress, and if you guys really desperately are sad because you missed something from the old world, let me know and I'll make sure to like bump that up on the moving list. How you doing, Captain Kaz? You a good kitty. Yeah, he's a good kitty. And this is the security station. Um, eventually, and actually I'll show you guys down here real quick. Even though we're going to go into the house, here's the house, here is our staff lounge where we are going to have plenty of supplies, plenty of things to store, uh, lots of research going on in the basement just like before. But I'm going to show you guys down this path right here, our sunflower and aster seed! Hi sweetie, how are you? Are you, are you so happy? Are you such a good girl? What about you, aster seed, huh? Yeah? No did we they're a little bit shell-shocked. <gasps> There's my Dejweed Boo! I love you too, Sunflower! But yeah, they're a little bit shell-shocked at having moved into this new world. And she's also not very happy because her Sunflowers refuse to face the right way. So don't worry, Sunflower. I have an idea about how we will fix that. But yes, oh my gosh, this 
Just like before is the way to get down from Sunflower's house off into the forests that are around here, but we have not even touched those wilderness, that wild forest yet, because our home is up here. This is the house. This is a good view of, you can see the staff lounge tree has grown tremendously, and it is kind of set into the side of this beautiful mountainside. This is where we've based our home. You can see the absolutely gorgeous waterfall that falls down the side of it. And we have a lot of balconies so that we can come over and look out on what is eventually going to be the zoo. Over here is where we are going to be clearing the land, like taking care of it, terraforming it, and designing it so it will hold exhibits to all sorts of different animals, as many different animals as we can put up into this world. We're gonna come up with so many, you guys. It's amazing. We have so many new mods! So many new mods that add so many animals, and you can also see some of our favorite classic animals, like that panda bear. So we'll be taking care of that panda bear too. We'll be having lots of um, like restaurants and games and pathways, and it's going to be a real zoo this time. So there'll be educational centers, there'll be museums, there will be areas where there'll be specially placed NPCs that people can come and work with, so that they can earn coins by doing zoo tasks, like scooping poop out of the exhibits that'll be a thing <laughs> or feeding the animals or providing food or helping guests find lost items it's going to be pretty interesting there's going to be um just so much to do and right now we're at that beautiful absolutely exciting early stage where it's all just wild landscape wild open land that we're going to be working on oh it's going to be awesome but first up, let's come in and let's see our base of operations. Pretty much the only thing I really wanted to bring over into this world was our home and all of the supplies we have spent two years gathering, with some exceptions. You know, we don't need to drag dirt and cobblestone and that kind of stuff back into this realm. But you can see the path splits off into two directions. This one will take you up into the security center. This one will take you down into the staff lounge storage room. Let's go up top first. So I'll show you guys what's going on up here first. Captain Kaz and Major Calhoun now have an official security room with proper computers decked out with all sorts of security cameras to keep an eye on the zoo. You can see a awesome map that is right here. Right up here is our staff lounge tree and our home. And you can see the pathway that leads over to Sunflower's tree. Over here is the waterfall. There's another waterfall on this side. Here's our yard. So this whole area has been carefully cleared out and tended to. That's our yard that we're going to be working in. And all of this is just the like tip of the iceberg for where we are going to start building our zoo. It's going to be amazing. I haven't even explored down there yet. This is totally untouched, unexplored wilderness. I have no idea what's laying out in this area for us. There's just the map to show us. And then down here, you can see there's a path behind our house, and this is where it will lead up to our Garden of Eden, and this is where it leads into Zombie Village, and here you see the Tree of Illumination, and right here, the Memorial Garden, and we'll see all of those places, it's going to be amazing. The Village of Light and several of the other places of this, uh, the Old World have not quite moved into this world yet. Like I said, it's going to take some time because moving two years worth of adventuring and exploring and materials is actually a little harder than I gave it credit for. But yes, so the staff lounge, the security center, nice comfy chairs, you can sit and watch the fish, you can chat with the cats, they've got some cat grass to eat to settle their tummies. More over here, these are philodendrian. There's crates everywhere that are actually storage items, so we can store various things in the crates all over the place. But if anyone ever has any security issues, say they lost something, or they notice there's lots of mobs spawning in an area in the zoo, they can come up and leave their inquiries right here by filling out a book and quill, and then the security team will get to it for sure. All right, so let me think. Upstairs or downstairs first? Upstairs or downstairs first? <gasps> it's okay. Okay, let's go downstairs first. And as usual, this is how we get from place to place. Climbing on vines, because I love like the organic tree-based things. Speaking of which, you can see flower pots absolutely everywhere. And look at this, look at this view. <gasps> look at all those mushrooms we can gather up. Oh, and there's gourds and more mushrooms. Oh my gosh, and is that a turkey tail? Oh my goodness, more mushrooms, a pigu. 
Oh, wow. Yeah, I haven't explored down there at all. Oh, look, there's some bamboo! I wonder what we could do with that lake. Maybe that'll be the lake where we put the ducks. Oh, that'll be so exciting! And speaking of which, you guys are going to help pick which exhibits we build every week. We're going to try to get at least one exhibit done a week. I don't know if we'll be successful at doing that straight off because there's just so much to explore, so much to poke at, so much to make sure that we, we have in terms of supplies. But we're going to do our best. More crates scattered in here. This is our storage level. So this is basically where we store all of our supplies. Also, my to-do list of seriousness, which is currently completely blank, is hiding here in a very special little display case because I keep losing my to-do list and we're gonna do it this time, you guys. The last zoos, what we've had, I've not really completed to the way that I really wanted to. And this time we're definitely going to complete. We're just gonna ruthlessly like terraform some of the areas, get the exhibits in, build archways, benches, water fountains, all sorts of amazing things, sculptures. Ah, oh, there's gonna be so much. I just cannot wait to show you guys. All right, and then coming out here, we're going to list our current project, and today it is introducing the new world. But tomorrow, we will review what we have, and you guys will have a straw poll to be able to vote on which exhibit we're going to start with. And from there, we'll figure out where we're going to start working first. Are we going to work over here? Are we going to work over at the mushroom fungus forest that's over here? I think dinosaurs will go over in this direction. It just looks perfect for them. <gasps> I'm going to have so much mushroom stew to eat. There's mushrooms everywhere. Oh, I love mushroom stew. It's so delicious. But you can see this is our new staff lounge! This is where all the storage items go, and it's very much compact compared to the old one. But you can see the furnace is set up just like before, so, and I actually used some iron pipes this time so that we can decide, like, yeah, let's make some of these, let's make some of these, or let's make some of these. And you can determine where the fluid goes just by blocking the iron pipe or by leaving it open. So that determines where the fluid goes. It does work if I go ahead and turn on the switch, then, a, yep, there it goes, the little engine would start pumping. And you'll notice, you don't see where the little smeltery, uh, how do I put it, the little smeltery tanks are, where the fluid tank is and where the fuel tank is, and that's because it's downstairs, because this thing is huge! I made it super, super big and super deep, so that it could melt down a ton of metal at once, and we can just keep working non-stop, we won't be held back by the limitations of our smaller smeltery before. Over here is where we have been storing a good number of all of our supplies uh, with some pretty interesting effects too because these are amazing multi-page chests. Look at this. Five pages of storage. Compact storage. Very wonderful for us so that we can be able to open this up and there is room for storage on every page. And we can sort our, our loot like organize our stuff, our supplies. It's going to be wonderful, very useful, because you can do like dyes on one page, uh, wool on another page, just really sort everything, get it all nice and tidy. So I'm very happy about that. Oh, the storage room. But yeah, we brought over a whole bunch of our storage, um, mostly like the ores and the ingots, just to try to speed up some of the building we're going to be doing. But a lot of it we left behind because this is going to be a fresh start in a new world with new mods, new possibilities. And part of like getting to know a place after you move it is sometimes the hard work of putting things down and just discovering what's what's out there. Like having to go, like when you go to the grocery store for the first time after a move. Speaking of which, I may have to do that soon. I'm getting a little bit hungry. <laughs> so I'll have to find some food soon. Our own crafting table is still here. A little um, crafting station next to a chest is still here. We'll have to put down a normal type chest actually. So the crafting station will identify it. And the furnaces, less furnaces than last time, just to be more compact about our storage area. But then we go downstairs, dun dun dun, and are you guys ready for this? Ta-da! It's Pigment Fern! What's up, Pigment Fern? And he has his own nether research area, which will be added to. We do have some NPCs and other critters who need to be coming in here. But check it out! Look at all this! Look at all this! Look at all this nether wart! It's just amazing! It's just amazing, but hello, Pikmin Fern. So he's doing quite well. And this is where you're going to find the fuel, and this is where you're going to find the smeltery metal, uh, like, control panel. Also, check out, look at that, look at that. You can see the little flecks of, like, 
ash and lava start poking out of these rocks, Pikmin Fern is very happy. This area is much better suited to his needs, his research. We've got some of the autumn leaves. We've got like bits of fire like popping off all over the place. Ash, abysmal stone, and uh, oh, look at that like little smeltering piece. Hello there. And there we go, another wart that can just spread all over the place. We also have a chest in which we have stored most of our nether supplies. So it's no longer upstairs with the other storage, but it's down here where we've got all of our awesome glowstone, the gravestone, a whole bunch of the cobalt ore that we should probably melt down and turn into something pretty soon. But I'm, I'm loving it. Pigment Fern, I hope you love it too. Merk? And he actually will start talking to us, and we can do trades with Pigment Fern coming up pretty soon. If you guys have ideas for what Pigment Fern might like to trade, then let me know. I know researcher Monica and her raccoon are going to be moving in here as well. But speaking of researchers, Pigment Fern, please pardon me. Oh man, just one last glance at your absolutely amazing new area. More storage along here. Here's our researchers. It's Professor Kaplan the Third. And check out her snazzy new uniform, made by our good friend Alex, who you guys will be meeting. But check him out. Oh my gosh. Or her, excuse me, Professor Cowplant. Look at her awesome little, like, her awesome lab coat. Oh, and it's got little tiny things in her pockets. It's just so cool. But yeah, this is Professor Cowplant, and this is being stubborn. There we go. For some reason, we're still, we're still experiencing some technical difficulties. But this is going to be where our storage labyrinth really begins. This is where uh, we're going to have so many different tunnels going into different research labs. And we're going to have different storage rooms. It's going to be amazing. I'm very excited. We've got to put a, a tree right here. I've left this area empty so that you and I, as a community, we can build a teensy little tree in here. Maybe we'll make it like a tree that's spliced genetically and has a whole bunch of uh, different fruit growing on it. That would be very fun. Oh, and there we go. There's Assistant Freezer Bunny right over here. And you can see Bella walk by. Here is one of, this is Experiment 911. Uh, oops, and I'm like peeking at things too fast. All right. Experiment 404 and Experiment 626 are also here wandering around. They're all doing wonderfully, but this is the entrance hallway. And down here we have, and you can tell by the little item frame, the stasis chamber. Check it out. Look how beautiful it is. I mean, just look at this. It's just gorgeous. So this is our stasis chamber, also known as our cryogenics lab, where we will be storing all of the safari nets of the animals that we have caught, the mobs we have caught, the werewolves that we need to cure inside of these chests. They're not in here now because they're coming in with the uh, next shipment of what we move, but we will be putting um, all of our old animals from all of our old exhibits, like the lions and the ostriches, we'll be putting in the pleosaurs and the dolphins and everybody sorted into some proper chest so that we know, like, here's the aquatic animals, here's the horses from the horse ranch, which we're going to find and, like, build a new home for. Oh, and I love watching these guys. I could probably come in here, like, on a hot summer day and just, like, sip some ice cream and just watch what these guys are up to. It's really awesome. And coming in here, this is actually the treasure room. So this is where we are going to store all of our like legendary loot. And you can see some of it is already up on pedestals and put in amazing. I mean, look at that. Just amazing little sword like rest. Oh, it's like, uh, what do you call this? Like an altar? I don't remember. I don't remember experiment 911, but oh, these are these are just fantastic. So this is a new way where we're going to be storing all of the uh, legendary pieces, Assistant Freezer Bunny. And things from like the Legend of the Endless Swarm, which we may go back to the Erebus world and adventure over there, will be stored here as well. Uh, things from like the 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 uh, ships we find, the pirate ships we find, Assistant Freezer Bunny, will be going over here too. The old Tropicraft, which is no longer installed, just to let you guys know, because it causes way too many issues for us. But the old Tropicraft like supplies will go in here as well. Oh, it's just wonderful. Down here is another eventual hallway so we can expand. We are inside of a mountain! I built on top of a giant crag. In fact, it is a highland. I built on top of a giant highland so that we would have plenty of room underground to expand our underground researching areas for our wonderful assistants and amazing places so we can just kind of have like a labyrinth where you can go in and you can find like an ancient sword of some kind. Oh, and speaking of ancient swords, 
check out the Sword of Light. We have a mod installed called Description Tags, which is amazing. And with Description Tags, the Sword of Light will now forever have its lore attached to it. So you can see that down at the bottom. The Sword of Light, a hero's sword given to Ciri by her good friend Kath in honor of the rescue of the Village of Light. And you can also see how many monsters the Sword of Light has defeated. So from now on, how many mobs the Sword of Light defends against and destroys is going to be recorded. We haven't had to attack anybody yet in this new world, but I've got my ears peeled for any skeletons or zombies that might try to come up. Hello, Lab Chicken! But yes, in case we ever need to expand, that's what these hallways are for. Bella actually wants us to expand over this way and see if we can build her a proper chemistry lab, which we definitely could, Bella, because there's so many chemistry sets. Oh my gosh, we have mine chem, so there is like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of different chemistry pieces that we can put in there for you, Bella. So that's going to be very exciting. And so we'll probably expand down that hallway and give her a room in the future. And this is the hallway so we can expand that way in the future. And over here, is the biofossil researching area. Oh, do you guys remember this? Look at its new home! We have all of our old tools, Glacial Quaker, or Glacial Quaker and the Fossil Finder 3000. We've got our plant specimens, our archaeological discoveries, our DNA chamber, things fresh from the dig site that needs sorted, bone fossil fragments, the uh, culture vats, and the analyzing, the analyzing chambers. Hello, Lab Chicken. How are you doing today? Brock? Nice to know that lab chicken. But yeah, we'll be able to feed lab chicken and I hope they get like a tiny little, it'd be fun to give them tiny little lab coats. I think we'll give them tiny little lab coats soon. But yes, the egg chamber, the embryo culture vat, everything is in here right now and ready, ready to go. Ready for us to do more researching, more studying about dinosaurs, and it's not just going to be fossils and archaeology anymore. We also have the Cambrian mod, and we are the Cretaceous? I can't remember which one it is, but we have two new dinosaur mods installed. Jurassic Craft, so that is now in here, Lab Chicken. And we also have another dinosaur mod installed as well. So you're going to see all sorts of new types of fossils. And you're going to see all sorts of new dinosaurs when we get to that point too. This is going to be the zoo to end all zoos. This is going to be a zoo for the ages. The whole world is built and dedicated. Miss Pigment Fern, I always called you Mr. Fern. That sounds cool too. I could, I could address you as Mr. Fern. But the whole world has been built and dedicated in order to make an amazing zoo where people can learn, 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 learn more about real life animals. And that's what I'm really hoping to do. Also, just mobs. You know, there may not be creepers and skeletons in real life, but it would be fun to study up about them. And speaking of studying up, Captain Kaz and Major Calhoun, let's go upstairs, another level. And ta-da! We're here in the library with Persephone! So Persephone is hanging out up on top of her little bookcases. You can see all of our old books have been stored over here. We've got some empty bookshelves to accommodate a ton of new books coming in. We've got- oh, darling! Darling, I love you! Ah, oh, excuse me, I've got a bit more work to do on these books. He's a little bit disconcerted because we have moved. Check out our rug! Look at that awesome rug! Handmade, custom made by me. It looks awesome. It's green and white. Isn't it cool, darling? Philodendron hanging everywhere. Little plants, shelves to put things up on. Darling's desk. This is Darling's desk and Darling's crate. So we can put gifts, presents, and random things from him and for him inside his little crate here. Oh, is it raining? It is. Let's go look at it from upstairs in just a minute. We have a little hallway chest uh, in here to store things in. This opens up to the backyard where the puppies are waiting for us. Careful out there, darling. But yes, this is Persephone's room. She has globes because we have DecoCraft installed now, which is very fun because then it gives us little ships in a bottle. Check that out. It also gives us a little telescope. Non-functional, but absolutely fantastic. Put here so darling, who does love studying the stars, can look out over our future zoo. Look at this. Yeah, this is going to be amazing. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. But all right, so the rest of the house... Oh, hey, Agent Noodles. How you doing? Agent Noodles is just wandering around. There's Artemis. Artemis, are you hiding under the chair? Do you not like the rain? But this is our new kitchen. So I'm going to close the door just so we don't let the rain in. 
But this right here is the new kitchen. It's got some crates so we can do some storage, the presser, some bread, the cutting board, and it has a new stove from Mr. Crayfish's Furniture. Oh, and check that out. This is like my favorite thing ever. Look at the hanging herbs. Isn't this amazing? I love these. I love them. Hanging dried herbs right over my stove so I can just reach up when we're cooking. But because this is Mr. Crayfish's Furniture Mod Stove... <gasps> Yes, I forgot I put some food on to cook. Oh, you can put nine different types of food on to cook on the oven and then come back. Here, let's just go ahead. Take all these down for now. And then come back and get your food from here. The oven is always on, always willing to toast your food. Isn't that right, darling? Darling! Rude, dancing on the bread. I may be, like, gluten intolerant, which I am in real life, and he's very possessive about his bread, even though he, does, he knows I won't eat it. But I will eat this baked potato. Oh my goodness, whoops, and open up that crate. Oh, and let's just look at our kitchen. It's just so cute. It has little flowering bushes installed on the top. We have little water barrels and little brooms, more crates for more storage of things that we might find useful to store. We have our sink, which the philodendron is dripping its little cute leaves into. We also have a fridge. I'm gonna go ahead and store the cooked pork chop in there for now. Um, and baked potato? Yeah, I'll go ahead and store the baked potato in there for now. Our countertops, uh, Artemis, who's just chilling under the chair, a chest in the, uh, uh, I guess you'd call this like one of the pantries, but yeah, there's a chest in there so we can store anything that we might need to for the kitchen. I think more like the cleaning stuff and some of the supplies. I've forgotten, I'll have to unpack all of my, my actual cooking implements, I forgot to put those out. A little bowl of fruit so darling and I can have some fresh fruit. And then over here is our root cellar. I love it. It's just like the one that we had over in the Meadow of Horses. Oh, look at our cute little herbs. And down we come and check this out. Is this not the best? I love this root cellar. I am totally, utterly in love with it. But we come down here, we've got like barrels to store apples in. This is going to be a barrel to store any of our old, fine, aged, um aged juices that we made like when we made all of those juices for harvest day last thanksgiving that we shared with calf we made so much awesome juice so many awesome aged juices so we would store those in here in this barrel which is a storage thing Ta -da! so we'd store those in here there's crates where we can store things like maybe our baked potatoes could go in there you want to go in there well, I actually need to eat these. But yeah, there's crates to store more items. There's tiny little shelves that can store individual stacks of items. So you could like put some chocobo feathers right there if you really wanted to, which I really don't. So let's go ahead and get them out. But I plan on using these for like storing um, different types of tea upstairs. Wouldn't that be fun? Like here's lavender tea, right here's peppermint tea, right here could be like uh, euchanasia tea, right here could be peach tea, my favorite. So different types of tea will go into these shelving units, but they also make great shelving units for down here in the root cellar. Very awesome. And of course, we've just got a little bit of stray, stray, <laughs> stray straw, there we go, to put in things like the egg basket. So hay bales um, with lots of straw that we can tuck in, hay straw that we can tuck in to make sure the eggs don't crack. This is going to be the wheat silo right here where we'll put all of our wheat. More chests to store other items in. This will be to store the raw potatoes in, the raw carrots in. Over here will be to store like the icy deep freeze is pretty much in a few places ready for us to put down um like any meats and other items we might have but otherwise it's empty the food just you know food just never holds up on a move so we need to be careful about that I, we had just like enough baked potatoes and pork to get myself and the dogs by though oh goodness but before we go outside let's actually go upstairs so let's head up here this will be the second floor of my house with darling Right now it's mostly just crates. You can see a great view. There's the yard. Hi everybody! Hello! All the puppies are out in the yard. You can see, oh look at all those herbs! We can gather those wild herbs off the mountaintop. Oh that would be so fun! Up here you can see the Garden of Eden. Over there you can see the Tree of Illumination. Here's the path that will lead up to Zomveri Village where Junior and JJ, Junior the Third, and all of the other cured villagers are waiting for us. Oh my goodness. And the huge yard. I don't even know what we're going to do with this huge yard yet, but I'm thinking a gigantic garden is, is due. You can also see the gigantic fungus forest that we've got over here. Look at this. That's going to be fantastic. Oh, look at all of those woolly galompus. 
Oh, I'm gonna love collecting those. It'll be awesome. But yeah, second story, we're not really sure what we're gonna do with this yet. Uh, open window so we can kind of keep a view, like a good eye on everything. And yeah, lots of shelving, just places to put things, just we don't know what yet. Up here's the bedroom, darling and I's bed, my journal, I love writing in journals every night, a lamp, which normally works, a little bedside chest, which I have put some of my, my presents and gifts in, and I really love it. Uh, these are actually recent presents from our good friend Alex, so let's see. Let's see. There we go. Oh, darling, you came upstairs. But yeah, so darling roams around the house. It looks like he's upstairs just to see what's going on. And then over here, more more shelves to store things, but over here, my pride and joy. This, my friends, is my leafy chamber. And you can see Nightlock, who has gone back to his more feral roots right now as an ocelot. So he is, he's full ocelot coloring, but he's still our wonderful Nightlock. And he protects the treasure room, and that is what this is. This is my leafy treasure room. And you can see right here, this is a gift from a good friend of mine, Mystery Man, Anvil Man, actually. He made me a custom leaf sword, which is just fantastic. And here is my leaf armor. Ah, oh, just sitting right here waiting for us. Let's put on my boots. At least we've got my boots. And then, yeah, the sword just is so cool. Come here, sword. Oh, look at that. Me, 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 me. I'm going to leave it here for just now because I do have the Sword of Light. But, oh my gosh, and all of my essence berries, all 33 essence berry bushes that we owned in the entire, entire staff lounge have been gathered up. Oh, oh, this feels just, this feels like home. That's something that I've always noticed. No matter where I move, if I have my plants, I feel like I'm at home. But yeah, I managed to convince some of them to grow up top of here. Let's jump over here and over here and... There we go. Nom 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 nom. Tastes like creeper, all right. Nom 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 nom. But yes, this is where we are basically going to have our treasure room. A little chamber that's going to have armor stands. It's going to have uh, places to put our swords on display. It'll have display chests. It'll have display cases. It'll have chests where we just like, like over here, here's some of the chests where we put our treasure, our rare plant specimens, like all of my mushrooms are in here. Uh, the gifts from other people will go in here, uh, which actually means I should move this stuff in for now, because these are presents. Already, some of the other uh, zoo crafters have been going into Twilight Forest and tending to it. Oh, my mossy treasure chest. You can see we've got our moonworm queen and all of our honeybees. Oh, I can't wait to put them back inside of some apiaries. Just imagine so many. I should put one in here. We should put an apiary in here, Nightlock. That'll be wonderful. Oop, already got some more essence berries. Nom nom. But yes, this is this is going to be really great. This is where we're going to have things on display. So that you can walk in. It's kind of like an armory slash closet slash museum. You know, where you can walk in and you can be like, I shall now gear up for war. And be really cool looking. In our case, gear up for adventure. And gear up for being a great zookeeper. So... Let's see. All right, so that's the house. I know there's so much. Hello, darling. I love you. Mwah. All right, so let's pop outside. I love our kitchen. It's still raining. We're just going to have to ignore that for now. There's another new present, actually. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Yes, I think it's a zombie villager. Oh, it has a little swamp flower. Oh, all right. Dear Sari, I found a zombie villager and thought he or she would be best left in your care. Alex. Yes. Alright, so already we have a present to put away upstairs and a precious little zombie villager that I can try curing later. I actually don't have any apples right now. Alright, so let's see. Let's leave the book in here, the swamp flower in here, and I'll go ahead and put the zombie villager in here too. But that's going to be fun. We do have three other people on right now as zoo crafters and we're still doing testing to make sure the world is stable before more people come on and I'm pretty 99.99999% sure it's stable now but you never know until you get started also you guys you know what that is you see that in the distance that's Mushroom Island it is now within walking distance to our house oh my goodness but yes this is the outside of our house still tremendously rainy right now we'll just have to ignore it and as you can see all the puppies are here oh yeah Oh yeah, girl, how are you doing? The yard's a little overgrown. I probably need to clean some of this up. 
Are you a good girl? Yeah, are you a good girl? You want to come sit with the other puppies? Let's go over to them. So up here are the other dogs. Hi, guys. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, all right, good. Come on, Alia, do you want to follow me? Oh, you're set to wandering. That's why you're being so silly. And there's Agent Noodles. Good, and the clouds cleared up. There we go. Yeah, Agent Noodles is walking about. Hello, Agent Noodles. I'm just going to come over here. Don't mind me. I'm going to collect some of these plants and clear this out. There. But yeah, Agent Noodles is roaming around, making sure everything is safe and where it should be. And there we go. So now we've got some seeds and flowers. And how you do an ash? But as you can see, the whole creature's uh, Let's see. There's Holly. There's Alia, and there's Zoe, and there's Pine. So yeah, the whole crew is here. Don't worry, guys. All of the dogs are here. All of the cats are here. If you notice somebody who's not here and you're really worried, just let me know in comments, and then we will make sure that they get moved over to the new world as well. And we also have started to move over just a couple of the trees. There's none of the interns yet. Um, there is none of the other donated trees beyond, like, a couple of them. We have one right here. This one was in the yard. It is the fairy ring cherry blossom tree planted by Mindy. And it's going to be here in the front yard because I love cherry blossom trees. And it will also be growing these fairy ring mushrooms. So we can come by and harvest these mushrooms pretty regularly. And there will always be a fairy ring that will pop back up after a while and continue to grow around it. Which I think is really awesome. And then we also have another donated tree right up here that has changed shape significantly. But this is a brand new type of harvest craft tree that we have never run into before. And this is a maple tree. So this is what the maple tree that Liam Brooks planted, the mysterious maple, has turned into. And I have a feeling it's probably going to get a lot bigger. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I have a feeling it's going to grow. All right. But let's see the yard. And this is the big yard. We've got an adorable little creek with a tiny little waterfall that is running down through the yard. It goes over to this huge waterfall that continues on down into another fungus forest. Is that not amazing? Oh my gosh, look at that tree cow. What a cool tree cow. Oh, I just cannot wait to start exploring. I really haven't explored anywhere around here. Look, and there's a, there's a, there's a whole bunch of cool, like, ooh, look at those new oars. Look at that elephant. Oh, this is going to be awesome. But let me give you the quick tour. So we've got our wonderful little waterfall, and it actually has a secret hidden entrance in it. So let me see if I can hop up to it and get us in there. Do -do, do -do -do. All right, almost there, and... And there we go. Check this out! Isn't this awesome? It's just a little hidden cave that is back behind the waterfall, and there's going to be all sorts of little detailed areas like this all throughout the world of True Zudesia. It's going to be amazing. Oh, I can't wait. I don't know what we're even going to do with that room yet, but I know it's going to be cool. Can we get through? And wait! There we go. All right, so let's pop down here. And there's still quite a bit to show you guys. But down here we have the seed shed, what used to be the seed sorting shed. And it is totally empty right now because we are going to turn this into kind of like a new gardening greenhouse shed where we will analyze seeds because we can now take these little seeds and thanks to quite a few new additions uh, let's see yeah it's going to be the seeds there we go we can do agricultural journal and we have the agricraft mod installed which means that we can make our own custom plants and you can make your own seeds different levels you can make the food different levels different tiers so that it has um just all sorts of new effects, so it's going to be really amazing. But to do that, you have to do a lot of studying under microscopes, and you have to breed a lot of different seeds, and you really have to try very hard to grow your crops in a certain way. And so we're going to have to have this huge room to do all of that in, to do all of our studying about seeds. So it's going to be the new seed shed, and we're going to have to decorate it completely differently because we're working with a completely different set of mods and a completely different set of seeds. Also, hamster food. Yes, there are hamsters. There are hamsters in True Zudesia. I haven't seen any yet, but I know they're out there. I know they're out there indeed. And then this, this right here, you guys, this is truly, honestly, my pride and joy. This tiny little demur shed opens up into one of the best things that has ever graced my life. This is the completed 
100% done plant sorting shed. This is the completed system! With these amazing new chests, we were able to set it up so that we turn this puppy on. You see we've got some flowers and some, some seeds of various types, including potato seeds. And you turn it on, and there you see the flower just pop back. It's off. There's another flower off on its little journey. And it's going to show up in this flower chest in no time. So we're going to see the flower pop into this flower chest pretty soon. I have moved in the good chunk of some of the plants from our sorting sheds, our plant sorting sheds in the old world, and I'm going to be moving in even more because goodness knows we've spent enough time, weeks worth of time, collecting various plants through all of the old worlds, and I don't want to set us back by, by getting caught up in plant fever again. So we're going to move in a ton of the old plants, but there's going to be, oh my gosh, so many new plants to see. Also check out the ceiling. I love the slope on the ceiling. All right, are they in here yet? Here we go. Yep, there go the poppies, there go the dandelions. Just like that, it's cleared out. Just like that, it's gonna be amazing. So every single plant, every single sapling, every single leaf, every single seed, every single piece of coral and aquatic plant, every single mushroom and special plant that is in the game can now be sorted within the plant sorting shed. No more will we be confused. No more will we be overwhelmed by all of the different plants. They go into this, you turn it on, and it will all go into the proper little chest. This is a project for the ages. This is a project that I rewarded to myself out of, you know, 500 episodes, 500 days of working in our old world. And I'm hoping that with this under underway, done, taken care of, out of the way, and the plants properly sorted, we will be able to build our exhibits even faster and with even more grace and speed. So that's the goal. But oh, I love it. Like there's edible plants and seeds going here. The tree saplings, leaves and wood going here. Plant flower chest, bamboo, ferns, vines, and ground cover. Aquatic plants and corals, mushrooms and special plants, and miscellaneous for any random things. Ooh, like this blackberry danish that happened to pop in. Okay, and I need to find somewhere to put seeds, pine sap stinging nettle and these saplings okay so that also tells me what I need to reprogram to make sure they go into the right sorting area also I have no idea how a Danish got in here I've been showing it off to some of the other zoo crafters so I imagine that's how <laughs> that's how we got a little bit complicated but that my friends this is the main house this is the main yard the animals are here Sunflower and Astro Seed are down there. The world is untouched and ready, ripe for exploration, ripe for us to be putting down new exhibits and getting started with on our zoo. And I cannot wait to share more of it with you. So tomorrow, we will do a wee bit more exploring. I will take you guys out to show you where the gardens are, where Zomberry Village is, where the Village of Light is going to be. We haven't started moving those villagers yet, but we will, we will. Rebuilding the entire village is going to take a little bit of time, but we will do it. And we will do some more poking around and maybe a teensy bit of exploring. And we will start figuring out what our very first exhibit should be. We probably should scout the area just a little bit first. So we'll do more tour tomorrow on the amazing new world and some of the places that are already built in it. And then we will start figuring out how we're going to get started at building a zoo for the ages. I cannot wait to see you guys there and I am so excited that we have begun season two. 